Ron Higgs says he arrived to this trailer Thursday afternoon, planning on staying at the residence for a couple nights. After helping Ricky House run some errands, he was shown the cage where Joelle Lockwood had been held captive. She had a t-shirt on. That's all. She had a, uh, like a leather belt, like a dog collar on. Every night they locked her in there. No food, no water. He says she was forced to cook and clean by both House and Higgs' ex-wife, Kendra Tooley. Higgs says at first he didn't understand anything about the situation, and it wasn't until Joelle told him she wasn't a guest there that he knew he needed to help her. And that's when she told me the second night is, please, with tears, tears in her eyes, don't leave here without me. And I promised her, I promised her, if I had to give my life to get you out of here, I will. Higgs says he spent most of Friday thinking of ways to try and free Joelle from the two. At one point, he says he even offered to buy her from Thule and House. Finally, Higgs says he made up a story to let Joelle leave with him. We was going to tell him a story where she had just wandered off, was here and there and everywhere, drunk and high, and she just finally come to her senses and didn't even realize what day it was and she's walking down diamond i picked her up late saturday night posey county sheriff's office with assistance from evansville police and indiana state police arrested both house and Tooley. this is exclusive video of authorities removing the cage where joelle was being held from the trailer higgs says since bringing joelle back he has gotten countless thank yous he says many people have given him a new nickname that he says he doesn't deserve. Everybody's calling me a hero. <laughs> I'm just a purebred American that believes in freedom.